Welcome to my first video. Dad, how do I tie my shoelaces? Right, so let's go. So I've got my shoes, they're nice and loose. I've popped them on. My trendy retro Adidas torsions. First thing I'm going to do, I'll put my feet like this, hopefully you can see, is adjust the laces. So I tighten that one up a bit, but like that. I tighten that one up like that. My tongue of the trainer is sighted nice. That fits nice. So now I want to tie them over like that. It doesn't matter if it's like that or the other way. It really doesn't matter. But you tie it and you pull it down. What you do then is you grab both ends. Both ends are now held. There's tension on that little knot we've just made. Position it into the middle. And what I do, because I'm right-handed, is I go across with my left. You could do, and my son does this, he goes across with his left. Probably because it feels nice. Nicer for him to do that, but it's nicer for me to go across with my right. If you go with your left, just do the reverse of what you see from now on. But once you get your thumb in there, you've created a loop. Does the camera show that? Yeah. And when you have that loop, all we need to do now is put the other bit around and then through. Can you see that little gap? Yeah. Put that through there. Then pull it tight. Pull it tight and you can pull both ends of the bows to make that really tight. It looks central and it's tight. And then we just do the same with this side. Remember, I've been doing this my whole life since about the age of eight, so I can do it quite quickly. I've got, got the shoe fitted properly. I've got the tension on. I go over, I pull down put the tension on, lean across, make a loop with one thumb, remove the thumb, go over and through, and done. Okay, so remember I've been doing this for a long time. I had to do it hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. So if this is the first time you've done this, okay, bear with it, okay? It will get, you will get a better knot each time. So if you get it on the first go, wow, that would be almost unreal. It is gonna take you a lot of times. So I'm just gonna do it again. After I do it the next time, I'm going to show you a double knot just to really make it secure. We might use a double knot if we're having a game of football and we really, really don't want our laces to come undone or going for a run or something. Okay, so I just go through it again, nice and slow. Adjust it so it's looking right and it feels right. And we go over and under put the tension on, lean across with our thumb to make the bow and pinch it. Now we go across the bottom of that bow, poke it through, pull it tight. Make it tight there. Adjust. Now there'll be some people that say, oh, don't do it like that. I make a rabbit and I do this and I put it round the bush and I do that. There are a few other techniques. Find a technique that works for you, but hopefully you can follow this and you understand it fully. Um, but if it takes you a hundred goes to get it right, that's about normal. So just stick with it, practice, you will get it. If you're doing this alone, 
big respect. Big respect. Now, the double knot. For the situations when we really, really don't want our laces to come undone, we just simple loop round and pull that tight. But beware, the harder you pull this, the harder it is to undo. So if we pull it real tight, sometimes when I do things real tight, I call it man tight. Probably shouldn't say that on YouTube, but yeah, when I do it really, really tight, I know it's definitely not going to get off. The problem with that is it's hard to undo. But you then have to pinch it to take it out. But just like that should do it. And all I'd say is good luck with it. Um, big respect if you're doing it on your own. Um, it's always easier to learn with someone showing you that's beside you. But hey, a big respect and hopefully you can get it smashed. If it takes you under 10, super, super impressed. So keep with it. Uh, you're amazing. Good luck.